The largest district in Oregon has closed its schools due to a walkout by Portland teachers. Tens of thousands of students in Oregon's largest school system will not be attending classes on Wednesday due to a walkout by teachers and other school staff in Portland, Oregon. The Portland strike comes as high-profile strikes rock other industries, including Hollywood and Detroit automakers, and comes after teachers in Los Angeles and Oakland, California, staged similar walkouts this year. What's at stake in the fight? In the negotiations, the Portland Association of Teachers is requesting a cap on class sizes, more time to organize lessons, and greater compensation, among other things. The organization represents roughly 3,700 teachers, school counselors, and other employees. They claim that staff members are overworked and have insufficient support, and that pupils' emotional and academic needs have increased dramatically since the outbreak. We are on strike not just for ourselves, but for our students, said Angela Bonilla, the union's president, who described crowded classrooms where there aren't enough desks, teachers who are working up to 20 hours a week unpaid to keep up with their workloads in schools that are overwhelmed by students' mental health challenges. The average salary for a Portland teacher is $87,000, according to Portland Public Schools, slightly above the area median income for a single person and below the median for a family of four. Portland Public Schools has offered raises of 4.5% for the first year and 3% in subsequent years of the contract. The union is asking for 8.5% in the first year to keep up with cost of living and 6 and 5% in subsequent years. The district says it cannot afford the union's overall proposal, citing a difference of more than $200 million. Officials say that funding from the state legislature has not kept up with inflation, and a state law limits the district's ability to raise taxes on residents. Governor Tina Kotek, a Democrat who last year won the endorsement and deep financial support of a statewide union that represents teachers, expressed sympathy this week for the district's position, but said discussion about state funding would have to wait until the 2025 budget cycle. In the days before the strike, she had urged both sides to spend every moment negotiating. Going out on strike is not in the best interest of students or families, she said. 45,000, number of students affected. Portland Public Schools serves about 45,000 students, with a student population that is 55% white, 17% Hispanic, 8% black and 6% Asian, a greater share Hispanic and black than the city overall. About a third of students are considered economically disadvantaged. Students in the district spent significant time out of classroom during the pandemic, remaining fully virtual until April 2021, longer than many districts around the country. The strike in Portland may set the tone for other districts in Oregon that are also struggling to finalize new labor agreements. That includes Salem, the state's second-largest school district. How long will the strike last? The short and unsatisfying answer, as long as it takes to come to an agreement. Strikes in other districts have lasted a few days to a few weeks. The union has encouraged parents to make plans for childcare while 81 schools in the district are closed. Portland Public Schools is making meals available for pickup at certain schools. Tutoring for the youngest students may be available starting next week.